Assalamu alaikum. I'm back after probably it's been six months and uh, very happy to be back with you. Please forgive me for my delay, uh, many reasons, but mainly there seems to be not much time, right? Uh, life is hectic. And uh, I know there's a hadith from Prophet Muhammad wherein he told us that in the end of time, which only Allah knows when that is, by the way, I know the YouTube is filled with warnings, but truly, only Allah knows. Uh, but it does seem like the time is growing short. Days seem like hours, hours seem like minutes. So let's make the best of what we can. Uh, my best is Quran, so I'm giving you today chapter three, Al Al Imran, and uh, I've always been doing Baqarah, Surah Al Baqarah, which is chapter two because both of these chapters um, stress Tawheed, which is the unity of Allah's message to all prophets throughout time. <laughs> Bear with me while I remember how to do these videos. I'm such a novice, but it's, it's the content <laughs> that counts. I'm holding it because my tripod broke. Anyway, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum Nazzal alayka al-kitab bil-haqq musaddikan lima bayna yaday وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان إن الذين كفروا بآيات الله فلهم ذاب شديد والله عزيز ذو انتقام The translation of these ayat have to do with the fact that Allah sent down the Torah, sometimes known as the Torah or the Old Testament, the Injil, the New Testament, and the Furqan, which is one of the names given to Quran for a reason. Al Furqan means to distinguish between things. So if you want to know whether or not the extant Torah and Injil, Old and New Testament, are completely correct, the Quran, the Furqan, will let you know. Anything that goes against the Quran, you can be sure is incorrect. However, having read I won't say most of the Torah and the Injil, Old and New Testament. I would say perhaps half over the years. There's more good in it that is in Quran. There are many, many, many stories that are not in Quran. Could be or could not be the words of Allah. But there are many errors that could never be the words of Allah. So Allah goes on to say that the kafiru, aladina kafiru, those who kafiru. Now, this word kufr or kafra has to be taken seriously because it's thrown around incorrectly. It's not merely disbelievers. It's those who try to distort, to hide, to disable, literally, their will is to destroy the correct message. Allah said that they will have a dhabun shadid. They will have a very painful punishment. And then he describes himself as dhu intiqam. He is the essence of vengeance. Now, dhu intiqam comes after Aziz and Hakim. Who will Aziz or Hakim? Aziz is not only magnificent in power and great 
like Azim and Al Kabir. La Aziz has an essence in the meaning of the word that you will never, ever, 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 ever be able to prevent his Iz. When he tells you that he's into calm, you should just trust him. It may seem that the world is in chaos now, but Allah also tells us, He's got it under control. He's got it in the order that he wants it to be in. Not that we propose would be a better order. <laughs> Think of the phrase, the new world order. Do you like it? I don't think most of us do. But if the new world order pleases Allah, that's one thing. But the new world order seems to be more displeasing as far as I can figure out. In all my years, I lived for 40 years in America before I started traveling, I never saw such uh, killing, rampant, senseless killing, immorality, downright theft. Everywhere you look, there's dishonesty and there's violence, there's disrespect. This immorality. Allah is not pleased with these things. Allah wants only good for us. But Allah tells us also that he never oppresses anyone. You get exactly what you deserve. Each individual gets exactly what they deserve. So don't be dissuaded or disturbed or discouraged by world events because honestly they won't happen unless Allah allows them to happen and Allah has promised to protect his faithful servants and if Allah has decreed death you should know that everything Allah does is just and right Tomorrow we will continue on some verses that are going to describe Allah's control over the secret, the hidden, and the apparent, what you proclaim and what you keep hidden. So don't worry about the secret machinations of quote-unquote world leaders. Don't worry about them. Allah has them in his mighty control. Worry about yourself. Increase your prayer and your good deeds. And know that Allah is watching you. And he will never, ever race, waste the reward of those who believe in him and worship him. I suggest you all Read Quran, whether you're Muslim or not. You know, you can't say, oh, I'm a Muslim, I'm better. No, it's not allowed to say that. You can say you follow Islam, you follow, your, you're a believer, you're of the Muslims. Allah knows best who you are and what you're doing. I leave you with the greeting of peace. We all want peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.